Hi there, I'm Vanna Fame. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 full release, episode 96. Okay, it's it's time to get out of here. <laughs> we need to get into Act 3 proper. So, yeah, I guess long rest? It, I'm actually supposed to be hitting the bed rolls right now. Okay, well, let's go and do that then. I thought we must have already rested, but no. Okay, well, let's go to bed. Can't control incapacitated. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the chosen of the dead three. They mean to use it to take control of the sword coast. All who carry the tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you <laughs> liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Ugh, damn, okay. Power is always good, but as I've said previously, People looking up to you as if you're a hero is far more effective than them looking at you as a tyrant. She's already at a disadvantage there with her tiefling heritage, so... Being the hero would be the best answer for her. So I don't want to dominate the world. Gosh, I do want to be free of the parasite though. Um. I do want to be the hero that saves Baldur's Gate, but not because I want to free everyone of this evil. It's not, it's not that. She, she really doesn't care all that much about the people. Just how she can get them to love her. <laughs> how she can get them to look up to her and need her. It feels like it's too much of a goody-goody answer. There's too, there's too much emphasis on freeing everyone of evil. I can't, I can't do that. Number three is the nice cop-out answer. <laughs> I'll do what feels right in the moment. I don't want to make a decision now. I do want power. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll go with number three. We'll go with number three. There's a lot to consider here. There's a lot of angles that I could use. I need more information. There's no need to make a decision tonight. When the time comes, I'll know what to do. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. Damn right. But sleep is not for you. Oh, okay. Gather. The reckoning is upon us. Oh dear. The city thirsts for domination. Uh. March. Join. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay. We're under attack. Help me. Help me. Astral portal. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. Ah. Okay. Okay. We need to get to wherever the heck the portal is. Where are you? Right there. Okay. So he's being attacked, that's why they came through there. What, did he eject them? <laughs> he ejected the gif so that I could deal with them? That's not very nice. Ah, her voice commanding. Affected entity's brain is being tortured at the whim of the absolute. It receives a minus one penalty to intelligence, wisdom and charisma abilities and takes one to six psychic damage at the end of its turn. Okay. <laughs> Jahira's fine. Yeah, she doesn't have a tadpole. I bet she's just wondering what the heck is going on with everybody. <laughs> you weaklings. 
Um, sneak attack. You should definitely be able to do this. Get in there, hun. You. You. Mmm, okay. Fine. Oh, he's got cool tattoos. I'm assuming those are tattoos anyway. Maybe it's just his, uh, Gith Yankee freckles? <laughs> Do they have freckles? Well, whatever. His attacks do psychic damage. Ah, okay. Oh, God. We need to escape to the portal before the Absolute takes control of us. Okay. So, I shouldn't... I shouldn't be fighting these guys. I should just be running. Well, Kelly is going to take one for the team. <laughs> Are they all monks? They all must be monks. Probably a good idea. There we go. She won't get all the way to the portal, but at least she's next to someone. And she's going next, so she'll be going for Kelly anyway. So, yeah, brilliant. A miss! Brilliant. Oh. Damn. Three hits. Well, never mind. That wasn't that bad, i say, with half health. But seriously, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Get in there and don't miss. He's rolled a 25. Uh, yeah. Sure. Lovely. Okay. And bite him. Only two! Only two! How? How? It's 2d... 2d4 piercing. Oh my god, did you, did you roll ones? I realise you were woken up prematurely, Astarian, but seriously. Alright. Alright. Ooh, ooh. Yes. <laughs> Damn right. Fist of unbroken air? Oh! Oh, thank you! Getting him closer to the fossil, that's perfect! Get that one. That's fine. And she's sluggardly. So Jahira can get up here. Go for it. Damn right! Okay. And while you're here... Damn it. Okay. Nothing from that one. Fine. Uh, get up there. Okay. Oh, more people coming in. All right. Oh, they're going for a star in. You git. That, nearly that did end him. Come quickly. I can't do this without you. Oh, hush. A uh, second wind would be a good idea, I think. Simply because you're not yeah, you're not looking too hot. Just get to there, Kelly. Okay. I'm not sure if Shadowheart will be able to make it. She's gonna have to Can't give up. Not now. Maybe Dimension Door. She doesn't have any misty steps. I don't think she has Still any misty steps. Um And I don't... No, I do have a scroll of Misty Step. Okay. Can I give that to Shadowheart? Yes. Good. So we should be able to get Shadowheart up here. 
Um, Kelly, I can work. Okay. Okay. All right. Only one hit. That's fine. I'm just gonna miss this step in past. I don't. I don't need this. <laughs> I do not need this. You, you can go, Starion. I think. Oh, you would be able to. There we go. Oh, okay. I only need to get one. Okay. I thought I needed to get them all to the portal. Well, never mind. <laughs> That's easy. Oh. Help your protector. Oh, you look rough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That thing's not going to hold together much longer. How did they find him? How did they find him? Gosh, they are really getting in there, aren't they? Yeah, maybe we should do something other than stand here and watch. Just saying. Oh dear. <laughs> that does not look good. Well. Where's our green guardian? I'm here. Help me. I'm under attack. Uh, really? Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Honestly. Look at Star. He's <laughs> still on one hit point. It's fine. Who? Who are you? Okay, why are there intellect devourers here? And why are they on my side? Why are they on my side? Are they on my side? I mean, they're green. So I assume they are. Uh, is this... is this... Um, I must I must have to get rid of these. I must have to get rid of these. This isn't a, a run past them type of thing. Uh, yeah, let's take her out. Beautiful. Okay. And... Take a healing potion. <laughs> and then get a bit closer. Um... You! Get down there. Okay. His initiative is quite far away. Whatever comes. I expected them all to jump at the same time, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. Let's put her here. Okay. At your command. Lovely. Oh my gosh, your initiatives were terrible. <laughs> your initiatives were awful, guys. Absolutely oh, awful. So much for peace. Yeah, okay, end your turn. Hey, lovely. Oh, it's running. Flames of the Phoenix! Oh my gosh! Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, take that one. Yeah, take a healing push. Oh my god. Twelve. I knife that one. Mental fatigue. Lovely. Okay, and iced. I mean, she's just gonna jump out a bit, but if she doesn't, then she'll slip, maybe. <laughs> and that's the important thing. Uh, try flourishing that one. Beautiful. It's off balance. Try this. Just go for it. Uh, sure. 
Okay, okay, only 20 hit points left. That's good. That is good. I would like to put a spiritual weapon down, but I don't know how many other encounters I'm going to have until we get, before we get to our dream guy. Let's Hunter's Mark you. Why not? Going for Chihira. We're not friends at the gate. Honestly. Okay. Let's see if we can get this Kelly. Lovely. Maybe you could come and Yeah, look in their pockets. Nothing. Okay, well I suppose I suppose that's that's fair enough. Yes, brains. That's what we need. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, not quite close enough to get to you, but I'll take it. Lovely. Okay, Starion. You should be able to see this guy now. Target outside Norman Bridge. Oh, come on. Let's move. Go for it. This should so not be a problem for you. Yes, we can. Offhand range. There we go. Ah, I'll take it. It's fine. It might have only been a one, but you know what? She's on five hit points. Unless she does another explosive thing, we're good. Oh, okay, she's doing another explosive thing. <laughs> How many times can they do that? Oh my god. Um, wow. Wow. Get up there and hit us. Blood it shall have to be. Ugh, okay. Have to get in there. And hit her. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Heal people, please. There we go. Blade Ward would be nice. Kellia. Kellia. Offhand this person. Oh my god. Fine, get in there. It's not over. <laughs> Come to the skull. Absolutely, we will probably at some point get there. Oh my god. We have... Oh, there's weave moss over there. That's lovely. We've got some healing to do, but yeah. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, well, it's they are over. in a fight. That's fine. The skull. Hurry. Uh, I can't hold them back alone. Honestly. Hush. Um, get down there. Oh, I feel like I've missed something. Could I have come over there? Yes, I could. Oh my god, there's Chasm Creeper. No. Don't tell me that that's death. Or that that's too far. Look. I can I can make it. The Chasm Creeper, I can make it. Okay. Okay. Could I get all the way up there? Yes, I could. I don't see why I would want to though, because that looks like a terrible idea. Look at that. Let's give one to Jahira. One to Shadowheart. One to Astarian. There we go. Okay, guys. You can take that. You can take that. Oh, hi. And you can take that. Okay. Now. Not as bad as I could have. Too high. Okay, we can't. We really can't get up there. I'm a little confused. Where did I start off from? Up here. I started off up here. But it's too high to jump to. So, oh god, I should have jumped over to there. 
Should I have jumped over to there? I must have. I must have been supposed to go there. Well. Okay. Okay. Okay, forget it and go down there. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Right, grab way. Rat Chasm Creeper. And the Intellect Devourer without standing in the flames. Thank you. Good uh, this Intellect Devourer is red, so it must be an enemy. Confused? <laughs> Confused. Uh, okay. So we need to stop that one then. Oh my gosh, there is an actual Alithidu here. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. I don't know who I should be rooting for here. <laughs> Before you do anything, I am your ally. We are so. in danger. <laughs> you are in so. danger indeed, Mind Flare. What the hell is this happening? The Githyan King is the source of our protection against the Absolute. <laughs> I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. What? Don't let my form deceive you. <laughs> I am the one that's been protecting you. No way. <sighs> no, no. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Mm -mm. Help me. The Emperor? Are you kidding? No way. It was a mind flare all along. Oh my god. Okay, um... Oh no. Oh, Kellia. Oh, Kellia. Hmm... <laughs> uh... Are you kidding? How? But everybody saw him. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Yep, prove it. Prove it. I don't believe you, but prove it. If you can. I don't believe this. God damn it, I'm so glad she never kissed him. You are... You have to be joking. Prove it. Prove what you say is true. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the Asima Night Song from her soul cage. You let me live last time we were here, though it brought Blackheath's wrath upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me! Oh my god, okay. It's interesting, it's very interesting that the, the deeds he's focused on are the ones where I've helped people. You saved people. You've saved so many people. Now save me. Okay. I could try and detect his thoughts, but to be honest, this is a this is an elithid. This is an actual mind flayer elithid. That doesn't sound like it's going to work. And I only get a plus one for my wisdom. <laughs> I only get a plus one. Uh, I would I would love to I want to 
this is <sighs> this is ridiculous <laughs> god damn it I made him so pretty as well <laughs> and he had tentacles all along uh... I, I, I have to, I have to, I can't, I can't just say how am I supposed to help and I can't attack him because if he's, what he's saying is true then he is still, despite being an illithid, the only reason that I have not turned into a mind flayer myself. It's the only reason the Absolute hasn't taken control of me. But I'm not ready to just throw down and say how do I help you, okay. No, we're gonna try it, we're probably gonna fail. Hopefully he won't attack, but we have to try it. It's only a 13. It's only a 13. Okay, oh, okay. I can get guidance from Jahira and Fox is cunning from Shadowheart. I think this is worth it. I think this is worth it. They all, we all want answers. <sighs> Even if I fail, I gave it my best shot. Go for it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Whew. Thank you. Okay, that was close. That was close, Kelia. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the Mind Flayer's awareness is everywhere. Oh. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. You must be joking. <laughs> I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. But, if you insist on taking a look for yourself, <laughs> be my guest. Oh dear, okay. Nothing in your colourful existence to date could have prepared you for this. Oh wow, okay. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. Oh, what? Happy? Now, join me. Fight! I'm left with one thought. Okay. Is that because of my experiences, or is he... Or did he put that thought in my mind? I mean, he is asking rather than telling me, so... Fine. Oh gosh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Maybe I should have just had Gale blow up. <laughs> oh, Kellia. Oh, Kellia. Okay, fine, we'll join the fight. Together, we can turn the tide. Please don't kill me. Don't, don't stab me in the back, Jahira. This was necessary. <laughs> This was necessary. Oh my god. Oh, it's prone. Oh, and it's dead. <laughs> monks. These monks are terrible. Well, not, they're not terrible. They're amazing. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, and whomst? Orpheus! Actual, actual Orpheus? And he's an enemy. He's an enemy. Okay, okay. Are we... He's an enemy but we're not fighting him. He's an enemy but it's not, we're not fighting him. Okay, so there's only two intellect devourers left and the Emperor, Renegade Elithid. Okay. Let's see what you've got. Telekinesis, okay. Astral gravity, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, arcade enchantment. Imperial retaliation. When he succeeds a saving throw, the foe that caused the throw needs to make an intelligence saving throw or be stunned. That's nice. Magic resistance. Okay. 
Okay, okay. And these guys are just, just monks. I say just monks. I'm sure they'll all have feather fall, won't they? Slow fall. Yeah. So there's no point in, uh, oh, Orphic favor? Resistance to psychic damage and plus three bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Damn. Let's just do what we can here. Four. I'm sorry, what? Four? Four? How... Deflect missiles. You. Oh. Well. <laughs> well. Damn. Well, that's not very good. Use your oil of accuracy. Well, let's just get some scorching rays into this person. Very nice. Okay. Because you can't deflect those now, can you? Yeah, take some carabas and poison. And you know what? Get up here. Yeah. Okay, we need to get rid of those two. Uh, those those must be the spellcasters. God, they have really high defense though. So their, def their decks must be so good. It almost feels like it would be a waste. Would that even hit those two? Oh, that might hit that crystal. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Try it. The rock resists all attempts to shatter it. Okay. Okay, we did hit them. That was some nice radiant damage. Good girl. Okay. That one is not looking too hot. That's good. Spiritual weapon. <laughs> Spiritual weapon. You you know you want to do something good here. Oh god. <laughs> They're all monks though, they'll they'll take spiritual weapon out no problem. But who cares? Just get it in there. Okay. There's no metal on these because they're all Ugh. They're all monks. God damn it. Let's do this. Let's summon a woodland being. Put her over here. There we go. Okay, hun. Um, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Dash, jump, entangle. That's nice. Strengthen shalele. That's very nice. Fallen lover. Summon a woodward bound to your tree to fight alongside you. Spike growth. 
Main hand attack, topple, dismiss, summon. Okay. Fallen lover then. Let's summon a woodward. Heck yes. And um that's a bonus action, so why not do that? She only has 22 hit points though, so she will have to stay out of the fight. Okay, stay there. I think we have given offence. I'm not sure if I want to use Misty Step right now. No. I might not be able to I might not be able to help her if if she gets taken out right now. So let's leave that there. Destroy the honor guard. Alright, let's see what you can do. Entangle, okay. Uh, just entangle or slap it with the main hand attack. Oh yeah, twist and branch. Go for it. Damn right. Oh my gosh, okay. Get in there. You beautiful, beautiful tree. And it can regenerate if it walks through a vine surface, unless it took fire damage, okay. I mean, try it. You might as well. Oh, it saved against the piercing, but it did actually, it did actually do some damage. Awesome. Awesome. You go, spiritual weapon. And it's stunned. Okay. Clench of the North Wind. Old person on a starion. Okay. Now that's not on. Let's try a blinding shot on this person. Blinded. But it did, it succeeded his saving throw. You git. Okay, um... Let's jump up to there, Kellia. Okay, and we'll get up to him next turn. Flames of the Phoenix, god damn. Shieldmaster, definitely. Oh, a Starion. Someone took a lot of damage. Oh, it was the Woodward. The Woodward took a lot of damage there, okay. Let's try fear. Okay, that one's saved, but this one is fearful. Fantastic. And... Give Asterion some healing. There we go. End your turn. Okay, so he came down from there. And he's just there. Cancel in turn and move away. Yes. I think I Jahira. Round. Hit that one. It already Please. Over. It was a miss, but it's covered in ice now. Okay. Well, never mind. Never mind. And you can jump down there and you should be fine because of your boots. Let's get some entangle down there. Okay. Stay there. Well, oh, okay, that one's dominated now. 
You could have dominated that one instead. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, this one can actually regenerate because it recently took fire damage. I think. Yeah. Okay, well, never mind. It's fine. Let's just hit this person anyway. It's a miss. Okay, well, never mind. Yeah, just stay there. Oof. Okay, spiritual weapon. Get in there. A miss! God damn it. You dodgy person. And you're leaving. You're leaving. Hey! Okay, that was a nice critical. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Oh, thank God, you wait for someone else. Oh, that's not nice. What was that? Resonating key blast. Wow. This oh my god, poor Astarian. They're picking on him. They're being so mean right now. You're the one I need to get rid of. Because you have the concentration. Go for it. And that concentration was lost. Okay, good. Huh, good, okay. Let's get you in there. Go for this one. Damn right. And you're offhand. Okay, 16 hit points left. Oh, oh okay. He's lost the dominate. Alright. Never mind, go for it. Yes, get the poison in there as well. Only one. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. And you... Get level three on a stereo. Okay. Orders. Jahira. God, I am so tempted to just call down an ice storm on top of all our heads. It's what she would want. <laughs> but we're not doing it. Um... Try and cleave that one. Miss. Jahira can move away. Yeah. That is actually quite a huge area, isn't it? I didn't think it would be. But it is. What's that? Heavy stone. <laughs> okay. I'll go down and hit it. Why not? Hey, you good? <laughs> you did it. You actually hit that one. Okay. Uh, come a little bit away. Yeah, well done. <laughs> okay. I must regain control of the Kajanki Prince. God, I'm not sure what to do about Lazel's situation now then. It looks like he's unwillingly being held there. Because he's holding him hostage. But he's also helping me. <laughs> he is helping me, so... Uh, yeah, get in there. Lovely. And maybe get back onto the... Yeah, there we go. You can heal a little bit there. Spiritual weapon. You should be able to fly to there. That's fine. Yes. And then hit this one. Lovely. Okay. 
Only 12 hit points left. Ooh, uh, um, Warcaster. There we go. Oh, poor Intellect Devourer. Better the Intellect Devourer than us, though. Yes, sneak attack, definitely. Okay. Ooh, key resonating. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Alright, you guys. Alright. Let's try and get rid of you. Beautiful. And then there's just you to go. Well, hungry for the slaughter. Astarian. Get back over here. Yes. Um, Astarian can't can't do a sneak attack because he just did one, so just hit them. Beautiful. Okay. Another fight. Kelia should be able to sneak attack. Yes. Okay. Who's left? That one. Okay. Don't suppose they have anything. Oh yes, they do. Boots of uninhibited Kashigo. Okay. Sounds familiar. I think we had something else of the uninhibited Kashigo at some point. Ah, but you don't. Okay. You were the guy with the most hit points, that's why you had something nice. Okay. Well, end turn. End turn. <laughs> oh, shadow heart. Okay, cool. He did not manage to hurt you too bad. That's fantastic. Um. Yeah, just hit him. Never mind, Shadow Heart. It's fine. <laughs> Bread in tooth and claw. Yeah. Okay. I think we've got pretty much everybody, but he will break up the initiative. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, you can try and hit that one. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Killed by a summon. Now that's just sad. Oh. Okay. Oh, I feel bad for him. Thank you. That was too close. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. That's true. And so we should swoon and offer a kiss abomination? Ah, I would not even know where to plant it. Let's not talk about kisses. <laughs> Let's not talk about kisses. Kelly is rethinking her life choices. Again. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I always suspected. No, she didn't. We suspected that the, it was the tadpole itself manifesting in our minds. That's what we suspected. And then when we actually met him in person, we thought that it was an actual... An actual wood elf. Oh. Kelia. Oh, Kelia. You were in the prism. Yeah, why did you deceive me? I prefer the other version. Well, yes, she does, but that's not exactly polite, is it? It's not his problem that you, uh, you don't like his tentacles. Yeah, I'm gonna need a name. I think we're just gonna go with the top one. If there's even the slightest chance that we've heard of this mind flayer, or that we can hear of this mind flayer, maybe research him, then that would be a good thing. Okay, we've killed the Githyanki and you have your pet under control. Now I need some answers. Who are you? You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I long for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. 
For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmane. We formed a partnership. And through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People yeah. refer to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My name was sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, so he used to be an adventurer, is that true? Is that actually true? Can they actually remember who they used to be? Is, I mean, everything that they were sort of well, slops off, doesn't it? It, it, it? It's completely changed, it's a new creature, surely. So is that who he used to be or is it just who, who his host used to be? Why would he even remember that? But this isn't the first illithid that we've seen that's not being controlled by an Elder Brain. There was the guy in the Underdark as well. But this one we were <laughs> we were really mm, we were really hoping to get to know. God damn it. So he was one of the chosen in the colony. Yes, so does that mean Gortash has a tadpole, maybe? Right. Okay. And Gortash, that was... He was one of the chosen in the colony? Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall. Don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. Well, I don't really care if he ate criminals' brains. So, how did he end up here? Yeah. Let's just go with that one. If you were a slave to the Elder Brain, when they enslaved the Elder Brain, how did you end up here? Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prison. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other chosen learned of its existence. I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found the Githyanki. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet. I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue the Githyanki and find allies in the outer world. You. Hmm. Smart. <laughs> that is smart. Okay. If Kelia was in his position, she'd have done the exact same thing. Exert her will over everyone. <laughs> she absolutely would have. She has no room to talk here, so yeah, let's just ask what the battle was about. Yeah, if he'd subdued them, then why were they attacking him? Well, that's understandable. 
But if you had control here, why were they fighting you? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. Uh... The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus, his mother, to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother mm. left, a usurper took her place. Vlacheth declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacheth wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. Okay. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Okay. <laughs> so the only reason that we're getting this protection is because of Orpheus? Is that what he's saying? It's Orpheus's power and not his? <sighs> Orpheus is an unknown. He's also been enslaved for a very long time. It's possible if we took care of this Illithid, he would be thankful. He would be very thankful. And also give us this same protection. But it's not a guarantee. I think in this case we're going to have to go with the devil we know. Yeah, okay, that is a very interesting question. Was it Orpheus or him that Vlacheth wanted us to kill? I'm going to have to ask that one. That's a really good question. I also kind of want to know what would happen if we killed Orpheus and seized his power. <laughs> if we can actually do that, that would be awesome. But yeah, that, that first question is very good as well. So, when Vlacheth wanted me to come into this prism and kill the inhabitant, was she referring to you or Orpheus? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Vlacheth was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. Oh, he's being very free with information right now and I'm, on one hand I'm really glad. On the other hand, he's making it very difficult for me to not want to free Orpheus. It sounds like the source of the power that is actually protecting me is just Orpheus's and not his. And surely that's going to be what Lazelle will want me to do. Free Orpheus. That's probably what we're going to be going to Shares's caress about as well. The uh, the Githyanki guy, I've forgotten his name. He wanted the prism, or at least he wanted the, the person inside the prism safe. And well, technically while he is a thrall, or at least being controlled by the Illithid, he is safe. So, hmm. Well... Could we kill him and seize his power? Yes, yeah, we need to know. We need to ask that question. Yeah, I figured as much. But if this power is Orpheus's alone, could we kill him and take it ourselves? There may come a time when that is necessary, but there is no guarantee that his power would survive his passing. The risk is too great. Mm. The moment his protection is gone, he would become enthralled to the Elder Brain, just as I would. We may look different, but to the Elder Brain we are already the same. Thralls in its design. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> we're like in other ways too. Okay, the more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flayer. I'm nothing like you. And I'm no illithid and never will be. No, I see. We are alike in other ways too. We seem to think the same as well. 
We all, or at least we think very, very similarly. I think he actually has more of a bleeding heart than Kellia does. No, that's a revelation. Oh dear. But yeah, okay. It turns out we still do need him. We do need him. He is, at least, committed to keeping us safe. Orpheus has no such compunction. There's, there's no reason for him to do so. We might have killed his honor guard, but there's other Gith Yankee out there who would gladly throw themselves at his feet and help him out. He doesn't need us. The Emperor does. We can still swing this. We can still swing this. <laughs> I don't think there'll ever be any kissing in the future, but she can at least try and <laughs> try and keep him uh, cleaved to her in some way. Anyway, so yeah, we're alike you and I kind of thing. <laughs> we're the same. Let's go for that one. I understand, and I'm sure that's not the only way that we're alike. I'm glad you think so. I agree. But there is one thing that you have that I do not. Lips? My original body was destroyed when I transformed. Yours continues to limit you. Limit me? As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Um, what? No? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, mm, uh. Why? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? After after dumping your, your past on us so that we can identify with you, why would you then say that you're, you're, you've surpassed your old self? I think that that's, that's cup. That's pure cup. <laughs> you lost who you were, you'll never get it back, so you're just trying to embrace it because you have no other choice, and kidding yourself into believing that you're better than you ever were. I think that's what it is. It, it's, it's just coping. It's just a coping mechanism. That's all. That's all. <laughs> I'm just going to ask him why he said that, though. Why, why would he say that? Does he really mean it? Embrace the change? Why would you say that? I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating uh, if you let me, <laughs> I can evolve you. What? <laughs> Was that the deal breaker from the start? It's like, mm, you're kind of pretty, sort of, but you know you'd be better with tentacles. Mm. <laughs> God damn, but he went for the power angle. But she likes who she is. But power, though. <laughs> I would like to know what that would entail. I would like to know what that would entail. I'd also like to know if he could evolve her. Why can't he stop it? Why can't he stop the Ceramorphosis altogether? Let's go for number one first. And hopefully we'll get the chance to ask the other one after he's given his explanation. Evolve me. I don't, I don't know. What would that entail? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current form, and you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. You would say that. Yeah, okay, cool. We can, we can ask that. Hmm, if you could force the change, couldn't you stop my seramorphosis altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, 
but it would kill you. As I told you before, too. Why would I? You have done well, the limited form you have. But you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Damn. <laughs> okay. I, I mean... Oh. Kind of. But no. I want rid of this parasite. I don't want to change. But it would make me more powerful. <laughs> it would make me more powerful. Uh, it would make me more powerful. Oh my god. Kellia. I... I can't help but think she would say yes. If it's not a full transformation, he said we would keep most of our form as it is now. And if we're not becoming a full illithid, and that's a guarantee, I think she would. It would be very difficult for her to say no. Yes? Oh my god, yes, do it. If everybody turns against her now, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. But she can't say no to more power. If this won't change me all the way, and it'll make me more powerful, then... Yes. Do it. Well, certainly brave of you. I'll say that much. <laughs> you continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. Now, hold out your hand. Become an illicit, he can't eat my brain, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna do as it says. Uh, what, another, another? I mean, you've eaten enough of them. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Um, pro, but the tadpole's intentions. <laughs> uh, what is it? Eat it or open my mind to the tadpole? I assume opening my mind to the tadpole is what I need to do. And if this is happening right here, then he's the one in control of it. He must be. This looks strange. What is it? A tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia. It has become extraordinary. Let's open my mind to the tadpole. Yeah, I'm gonna do that before I eat it. Do I, am I supposed to eat it? That seems like a bad idea, so... Just in case, I'm not supposed to eat it, because surely that would be chewing it, right? Let's just open our mind to it. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The oh, tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. <laughs> but we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, so we're half illithid now. <laughs> We've embraced Ceramorphosis and become half illithid. We can now unlock even more powerful psionics. Oh my god, guys. No one stop me yet. I can't believe you have lost your blue eyes, though. And we received an astral-touched tadpole. Okay. Well, 
Oh my god. Okay, follow the Chosen to Baldur's Gate. We can thwart the Chosen of the Dead 3 by taking control of the Elder Brain. But will we use that control to liberate or to conquer? Whatever the answer, it lies in Baldur's Gate. Control the Elder Brain? Okay, whoever has control over the Nether Brain will hold unspeakable power. We could dominate it and have a thousand kingdoms at Akmand. Okay, and the nether brain is too powerful to let live. Destroying it may be the smartest thing to do. It might be. It might be. But look. Look. My desire for control has been uh, firmly stroked here. <laughs> that was uh, That was a convincing argument. <laughs> If you eat this tadpole, you won't get tentacles, and you will get tons more power. I mean, that was perfect. That was a perfect sales pitch. Oh my god. I'm a little bit worried about leaving this area now. Surely, Jahira's not going to be happy with that. Surely no one's going to be happy with that. But we've done it. We've done it. Okay. Journey to Baldur's Gate. Dame Aelin revealed the truth to Shadowheart. She was not saved by Sharons as a child, but abducted and indoctrinated by them. Furthermore, her parents still live in Sharon captivity and are bound to their daughter by a curse. The source of the pain that emanates from Shadowheart's wound. Ah. Shadowheart must make for Baldur's Gate in order to rescue her parents and free herself from Shar's influence. Okay. So that's what the um, the thing on her hand was. That was a curse. Wow. Spiteful. Yeah, very spiteful. Okay. Astarian thinks we need to find some of his fellow spawn if we want to learn about Kazadar's plans. Apparently they used to hunt for victims in the dens of the city. Well. We will definitely be getting to that. Assuming that everybody doesn't abandon me anyway. The Wizard of Waterdeep. Gale wants to learn more about the Netherese crown controlling the Elder Brain. In Baldur's Gate, there's a renowned magical emporium, Sorcerous Sundries, known for its collections of rare and valuable magical tomes. He wants us to go there and speak with the bookseller and find out if they have anything on Netherese magic. And help my protector, which we have done. During the night, we were awoken by the voice of the Absolute. A Githyanki contingent ambushed us. We heard the voice of the Dream Visitor, desperately seeking our help. Go to the Dream Visitor's aid. Inside the Astral Prism, we came upon a battle between Githyanki and Intellect Devourers. The Dream Visitor urged us towards the epicenter of the fight, the Skull. Defeat the Gishra and defend the Rogue Illithid. The imprisoned Githyanki is close to breaking free with the help of its allies. The Mind Flayer is struggling to keep him subdued. Without our help, it will not succeed. We must destroy the Githyanki assailants. And the Mind Flayer revealed itself as none other than our dream visitor. It is a rogue illithid and just like us, it wishes to be free of the Elder Brain's dominion. By helping it to subdue the Githyanki Prince Orpheus, we remained protected from the absolute power. Good. <laughs> okay, and embrace your potential. Um, okay, okay. Okay, communing with the astral touched tadpole unlocked the next stage of our illithid transformation. It certainly did. And Orpheus. We learned that Prince Orpheus is trapped inside the Astral Prism. Okay, well there's nothing, surely there's nothing stopping us from betraying the Illithid at some point and freeing Orpheus if we decide to go that route, surely. I don't think we will. She really didn't want to, <laughs> did not want to become an Illithid. But the draw of power is just too much. It's just too much for her. Okay, uh... <laughs> I think I will actually leave it here. Uh, look at all of my summons as well, that's lovely. I do like the Dryad. It looks so cool. She looks so cool. And she has glowing eyes as well, which is awesome. Particularly since Kelly no longer does. 
That's the only thing about this transformation that I'm not liking so far. I'm not liking it so far. Okay, what do we have? She can fly as a, t as a class action. That's awesome. She can force tunnel. Okay. Uh, psionic overload. And concentrated blast. That's quite a lot of those elithid powers that we decided we didn't want to take. And it just automatically gave them to me? It automatically gave them to me. Okay. Okay, so it was the entire circle right here. It just gave me that entire circle of powers. So... If I took the next circle... That's a lot of parasites, but if I took the next circle... Would that trigger another... Another change? Oh no, because we got fly down here. That wasn't from the... From the center cluster. Okay, I don't know then. It must... Is it... Is it a circle? Is it the circle? Or is it just a certain... Once you reach a certain number of tadpoles consumed that you you keep transforming or maybe it was just that one tadpole and that was our only chance to to transform and if we if we can continue getting more of them from the emperor more of those astral tadpoles then we will keep transforming gosh well i'm happy that i got the special one and if it's any of the others then i guess their transformations will just have to happen from sheer number of parasites. <laughs> but, my gosh, that episode was insane. Absolutely insane. I am really unhappy that I'll never get to see my dream visitor's pretty face again, though. <laughs> I think I, I really did well creating that guy. So much so that I have a really hard time imagining the, uh, the dream visitor visage that I gave to, to Narisa's uh, dream visitor as actually him. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time with it. He just looks wrong now. He just looks wrong. It's... You just get attached to the first face, don't you? You just get attached to the first one you see. Oh my god, that was kind of an unwelcome... <laughs> an unwelcome reveal. Ugh. Well, never mind. It's done now. And yeah, I'll leave it here. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. I upload five videos a week, so hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>